six two. Not that tall. Yeah. Yeah, I was 5'11 in high school. I don't know what happened. I just sh shot up. Yeah, I hit puberty when I was 22. I don't know. I was like, just started growing. Um, yeah, I, it's, as an actor, I feel like it's hard because if you're coming on to another show, most of the guys are short and they're like the lead suave guys and you can't be taller than them because it doesn't make them look as good, I feel like. I don't know. That's what that's what I would be thinking if I was sure. I'd be like, "Who's this guy? Get out of here!" Do you ever act with people that are taller than you? Do you do you ever yeah, get intimidated? Most actors for males are, are on the shorter side, but there's some guys that are really tall. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard because it changes the whole frame in which you shoot. Not for me, but some guys are six six. You know, it's like people are on an apple box to stand higher. It's yeah. You've never had to stand on an apple box, I'm no, guessing. No, no, the other people do. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the movie um, yeah. The Wrong Side of Right. What does that mean? There's two sides of right. Yeah. You want to explain a little? So The Wrong Side of Right is, it's basically about somebody that thinks they're doing the right thing, you know, because we're only as powerful as our perspective on the issue, whether it's right or wrong. If we think it's right, and it's wrong, it doesn't matter because we think it's right. So it's about being on the wrong side of that. So it's you think you're doing the right thing, but you're actually not. You're hurting the cause and, and you're doing the wrong thing, essentially. And the movie has lots of puppies in it. Do you have any dogs or animals at yeah, home? Yeah, I, I have a cat, Clarence Worley. He is the most handsome little man ever. He's a Devin Rex. He's got his own Instagram, Clarence Devin Rex Worley. If you're, you know, if you're bored, check it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's the most adorable little guy ever. You didn't bring him to the carpet? What is no, it? No, no, too much going on. I'd freak out. Yeah. Well, I know there there are horses in the movie and dogs. What was it like working with all the animals? Hell yeah, horses. So hard to work with. They're divas. So hard to work with. Our horses, the the cowboy, the main horse that we got, the main show horse that we got, got sick right before the shoot. So we had to do this backup horse that wasn't really a show horse. And we almost died twice. So the first time, we're shooting on in an open field on a hill, and it's dusk. So, so the wind starts kicking up. And it got pretty windy, and the horse started bucking. And Allison was bareback on the back. I was in the saddle, and she's bareback. And the horse starts bucking, so she holds on to me. Finally, we get her out. We can't shoot anymore because the horse is going crazy. And then the next time we're shooting with this horse, we got to reshoot this scene. So they, uh, we did the scene. It was perfect. And then there was a problem. The mic didn't pick up the sound. It fell off my chest or something, which is what always happens. And they're like, that was amazing, but it didn't work. So the sound's wrong. So we had to shoot it again. And they brought out a boom, right? To boom, to record the sound. And this boom is uh, its big, furry looking critter because it had to block the wind. And as soon as this boom came out to this horse, it put its head down. She's behind me again, bareback, holding on to me. It put its head down and ran backwards down a hill at about 30 miles an hour, just sprinted backwards. So I just grabbed her hands and grabbed the reins and tried to pull it tight. And he's running down a hill. And we can't see anybody at this point because we're down a hill. And then I just pull up on it, and it turns around in 180 and stops. And everybody thought we died. I thought I died. It was, yeah, it was, it was very. This, this, working with horses in this film in particular is kind of difficult. I mean, when we almost died, we yeah. almost died. Yeah. Yeah. What was going through your head when that was all happening? Uh, I thought I was d gonna die, but he was such a boss. Like he had it so under control. He, you were, and I actually kicked into the horse, which made it worse. I yeah, made the situation made worse. <laughs> yeah. They didn't tell you? No. No, I just was like, I'm gonna hold on for dear life. Made it worse, and he was such like a. He was so good, and he like handled the situation perfectly. <laughs> yeah. It was very scary. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like for you working with all the animals and the dogs? Did you want to take any home? I, I would have a hundred if I could. She has two dogs. I have a cat. She's also my girlfriend. <laughs> so my cat plays with her dog, freaks them out. They don't know what's going on. They've never seen a cat. But I would have more. Yeah. Like, I'm not limited yeah. to three. So I love animals, but nobody loves animals as much as this woman. Yeah. It's, it's kind of...
kind of beautiful. It was like my dream movie, getting to have horses and all cows and dogs and everything that was around me, I was like in heaven. Going for a walk with her is, is adorable, but also a nightmare because it's a five hour walk because every dog we see, she's got to stop and pet it, which is great. But just say hi. Don't just sit down there for five minutes petting a dog. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you guys go. But thank, thank you so much for chatting. Great meeting you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe, like, comment, and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching.